Welcome back to All About Libs. In today's episode, we're going to talk about two stainless steels, 321 and 347. Let's get right into it. Okay, let's take a look at 321. Now, 321 is very similar to 304 stainless steel. The, the chrome and nickel contents are almost the same. What really differentiates it is down here. We've got this titanium addition. Now that prevents carbide formation and it allows it to be weldable without heat treatment. Now you see 321 used in aerospace components, uh, chemical processing, food processing, uh, things like that. However, if you're welding 321 with arc welding, sometimes 347 is used because it welds better. So let's, let's take a look at that one. Okay, so now let's take a look at 347 stainless steel. 347 is also very similar to 304 stainless steel. It is also stabilized against carbide formation, which allows it to be uh, welded without heat treatment. So the chrome and the nickel are very similar to a 304 188 and down here instead of titanium we have this niobium addition. Now you may not have heard of niobium, it used to be called columbium, still is in some circles. Um, and this niobium addition does the similar thing that titanium does. It prevents that carbide formation. Um, where you're going to see 347 used is in chemical processing, food processing, petroleum refinery, and sometimes as a weld filler material when welding 321. This niobium performs better than titanium for arc welding applications. So as you saw in today's video, 321 and 347 are easily sortable with handheld lips. We were able to get a 100% match and see all the elements in them, including in 321, we saw a titanium addition, and in 347, we saw a niobium addition. Now, both of those additions stabilize against carbide formation, and that has to do with welding and not having to heat treat um, an area after a weld. Now, the, the main differences here is if you have a product made of 321 and you are welding it with an arc welding um, process, you would typically use 347 filler material. The 321 material, the titanium addition, does not behave well for arc welding applications. Both of these materials are chemically similar to 304 stainless steel, an 18.8 18 chrome or 8 nickel application um, and uh, their operating temperatures reflect that at up to 1500 degrees Fahrenheit for both of them and that's 816 degrees Celsius. So thanks for tuning in this week. If you learned something today, like and subscribe this video and uh, hope to see you next time.